hello guys so in this video uh, I will talk about uh, how to design the test script because we have seen now all the components of framework we have seen how to design the page objects now we need to understand how we should design the test script by combining all the helper classes and by combining all the page objects right so to do that uh, I have created some of the scripts because why I already created the script because script creation is very easy once you have all page objects designed and once you have all helper class so look at this I have created one simple script called login test so going forward whenever you design any scripts please make sure that you are extending to the test base and this I have created where in which package so go to the navigator view better so go to window eclipse menu window show view and navigator so once you go to the navigator go to src main uh, java com ui framework company name project name and test script so here i have created a package called login page and in this login page i have created one script called login test so uh, when the login test extends the test base so automatically it will get all the uh, methods available in the test base because we are using that inheritance concepts and then I have registered the logger okay I have registered the logger now this is my first test okay here I don't need to write before class after class because that is taken care in the test base because when we go in the test base uh, we have defined before suit before test before class before method everything this is defined which we, I have already explained in my previous video I will not go into the details so look at this how neat and clean a script you have descriptions login test with valid credentials uh, test login to the applications this is one method I have designed get application URL so this application URL uh, whatever URL you will write in the properties file it will go and it will fetch from there so to do that what I have done uh, like implicit weight and explicit weight which we have seen earlier in the configuration file if you go to the config.properties I have added these three things applications URL username and password so these three things I have added in this and uh, when we add anything in this config file in this config file we need to go to the reader class uh, the config reader class so when you go to the object reader go to the config reader so in config reader what I did I have added uh, three more method get URL get username and get password because now we want to read from the configurations file so in this config reader we have this and this config uh, reader is implemented by so okay one more thing I will teach you how to know what are the classes is calling this interface so double click on this select this and go to call hierarchy double click and go to the call hierarchy uh, why call hierarchy is not coming call hierarchy okay that's fine call hierarchy is not coming otherwise by going through call hierarchy you will come to know so we will go to the there is a class called uh, okay let me go to the test base again and I will tell you how you can go through there is a class called properties reader which we have defined so go to this properties reader and here what I did in the down I have added three more method get URL get username and get password which we have seen so this three method uh, we have added this will get the application URL username and password right so come back to the login test now and we have get application URL this will get the application URL and this from where this method is coming get application URL so in the test base I have added one more method called get application URL here so this guy will take the URL and it will launch the browser and then we are adding that extent report log extent report navigating to url okay so now go back to the login test when you go back to the login test this will launch your browser then what we are trying to do we are trying to create the object of login page and uh, now you will understand why we were writing uh, parameterized constructor because when you go to now login page now you will understand through login page okay I mean slice the private driver which we have available here here we have a private driver right 
so through the constructor i am going to slice the private driver so look at here through this constructor i will slice that and through this page factory i will slice the web element and the wait helper will make sure that my sign in page is loaded and this will capture the navigation screens as well as here we can write test base uh, test base dot log extent report and here we can write login page object created so that we can see in the extent report login page uh, object created okay so now go back to the login test and now you will understand the importance of giving this driver so what happens when we call this test base okay this test base is the one where your driver will get in sliced this driver when you look at here let me show you so where we have yeah look at this in before test is the one where your driver is getting in sliced because in before test you have a setup driver when you go inside the setup driver right this guy is the one which will in slice your driver and this has a get uh, browser object so when you go to the browser object this will get all the browser right so it's correlated now when this guy makes sure that your uh, browser object is created the this browser instance will get created and this is not a static now what we will do when we will make a login test we will supply the same driver here so whatever browser instance was created in the test base same browser instance will get supplied here right driver and then we are doing that login page look at this very important line we have one method called login to applications which we have designed this login to applications will take username and password so this will take you know object reader dot reader get username and then object reader dot reader get password and then we will verify that login has been successful so we'll do login page dot verify success message so verify success message uh, look at here inside that how we are using verification helper we are making the object of verification helper is displayed and the you know success message object so where is the message object this is the message object so when successful login will happen this object will be available this particular object will be available now go back so for that we have written one a verify success message this guy will give me the return true or false because each displayed if you look at we have designed like this you know it will capture your log also and it will give you the true and false also that is the you know main purpose of designing the overridden method okay we have designed overridden method now go to the login page it will do a successful login and then one method i have designed recently update test status assertion helper so in assertion helper class i have designed one method called update test status so whatever status will come here based on that your report will get updated so go inside that update test status so when you go inside that update test status here if a status is equal to true you are making it pass if it is fail you are making it fail and what is this pass so when you look at here it is nothing but this assert dot assert true false and assert dot assert true true right so same thing i am calling inside so this guy will make sure that your result is either fail or pass so whenever uh, you call from a script please call this method update test status so when you call this your status will be pass or fail now go back to login to the applications method here we have click on sign in and everything we have right now what i will do i will run this and i will show you how your report will look like and how you will get the report right so i will run this script script got executed okay i paused and executed the script because you know when i run during recording uh, browser becomes very slow so go to the console and look at the output so these are the output in sliced web driver waiting uh, wait helper object created empty sheet was set to 120 waiting for page to load page is loaded uh, going to the site this element is visible now you uh, navigating then capturing ui navigations clicking on sign link entering email address entering password clicking on submit javascript in sliced because we do a scroll down because sign in comes very down so we scroll down so you have proper log also here in your console as well as if you look at the extent report so refresh this 
when we refresh that and when we go to the extent report which is comes in that uh, comes in that under test output so when you go here extent.html right click open with web browser okay and open this select this and go open this so when i open this you will get very good report here with each and every step see login test got executed you are getting that every steps which was performed as well as you will get three screenshot uh, the first screenshot when we came to the this home page okay and the second screenshot when this login was happened you, you can see that the sign out okay this login was happened and the third so uh, one script got captured two times maybe you would we would have written somewhere so this is your extent report and you are getting that line by line what happened exactly right as well as if you look at the email uh, report.html so when you open with web browser so here also you should get all the informations in the email report see here also uh, capture screens sort method called called so this is like you know uh, when we came to this login page and after the login page when login happened this is the screenshot so you are getting that uh, the test engine report also as well as you are getting that the emailed report right so these two, uh, two reports are coming everything you are able to get that the screenshots and everything now that's how we should design the test script right let me do one thing let me uh, okay so the second script better i will show you in my next video otherwise the video will go very long thank you guys thank you for watching this